The most frequently asked question I get from you guys out there regarding the Rotolite EOS is, can it overpower the sun? So, I thought it would be great to show all of you examples of using the light in very sunny and bright conditions in both continuous and flash mode. And spoiler alert, yeah, it really does overpower the sun. And I can't wait to show you. Alright guys, super sunny day here with the AOS 2 with the beautiful Andrada. Uh, and we have, we're going to show you just what we're cranking out of the AOS 2 in continuous mode. And it's double that in flash. So we're going to come on over here, Martin. Get a nice uh, shot of her face. And we'll show you what happens when we take away the light. Just what a stunning result. And as you can see, you're seeing straight out of the camera how soft the light is. That's, I keep saying it, but this is soft straight out with no modification. All right, so we have some beautiful rim light hitting her. Sun's coming out and uh, I'm gonna pop off some shots with the 50. This is when Rotolite's made the leap and other, other lighting companies should be scared. This is outrageous. It's, it's so beautiful. I, I will be using this light more than anything. And now pull the light back. As a longtime Rotolite user, I was really excited to see that there was so much power, even in continuous mode with these lights. The creative opportunities are endless. For the flash shoot, we went all the way from England back to the United States on the top of a roof in Los Angeles during a very sunny day with a beautiful model named Minerva. And these shots and this set was so much fun and it really shows you what these lights can do in flash mode. So to start it off, we're gonna give you a before and after to show you what it is with the light and without. And it's pretty dramatic. So one of the main questions I wanted answered for myself was, can I use this light like I would a mono light? So I put it in conditions where I would typically use a mono light to see what it would do. And I loved the results. You can see the pop there, the colors there, the separation from the background is there. It's just all there and I love it. It's going to be my main flash. The next test was to shoot it directly into the sun to see what we could get. And uh, I love the results. Let me make this as, as easy as I can for anyone who uses Rotolite with flash products. If you're shooting outside during the daytime, don't do not modify Rotolite. You don't need to, guys. You just don't. And so if you shoot with uh, no modification because the light is inherently softer, you're going to get the most power out of it, and you don't have to modify it like you would a normal strobe because, like I've said many, many times, instead of one huge... Uh, concentrated light it's it's already spreading the light just because of the way the light is manufactured so it makes quite a difference so uh, I don't start modifying red lights really until I get into darker environments either at night and or you know if it's indoors so when I'm shooting something like this all I, all I need to do is uh, use the, uh, the lighting that, that comes really out of the box so now you've seen it for yourself the AOS 2 really does overpower the Sun and if you hop on this Kickstarter deal, guys, you're not going to regret it. Listen up, guys. Rotolite has told me they've sold a ton of these lights already to the big camera stores, which means unless you get these during the Kickstarter, you're not looking to get these lights until May or June of 2022. So if you want to get these before the big box stores, go to rotolite.com slash Kickstarter, and it ends like midday during November 16th. So get in on these if you want these lights, guys. Rotolite.com slash Kickstarter, my friends. Order yours today. Somehow this is beautiful.